I thought that I don't know. Every time I watch those two fight, it just seems like uh, like they don't dance very well together. You know what I mean? Like uh, they're just not very good dance partners, and I think that that makes like for a really interesting fights every single time. You know, so it's really when I'm watching them, it's just like watching. Uh, it's just watching a little bit of like an awkward fight. I I would say I I, I would say that I wasn't too surprised by the decision. I think. Uh, Aljo probably won the first round, maybe. Um, that one was kind of a coin toss, though, to be honest. But I did think Aljo was, like, having trouble finding his range, having troubles with things in that first round. And then when he got the back in the second round and won that round pretty, obviously, very significantly, um, I think that that added a lot of confidence to Aljamain. Oh, Sorry. I think that that added a lot of confidence to Aljamain in that fight, and uh, it was the reason that he was able to do the same thing in the third. And then fourth and fifth were kind of like Jan probably feeling like he needed a finish, which made for just like uh, not like a very choreographed type of fighting and, and instead a more chaotic style of fighting, which uh, you know isn't necessarily always where you want to be when you're in a world championship fight. So... Uh, yeah, it was. I thought it was a pretty entertaining fight, though. Uh, I'm kind of happy for Aljamain in a, in a way that uh, he was able to be that huge of an underdog and then still be able to pull it off. You know, like the guy pulled a bunny out of his hat. So uh, good for him, man. I, I, I think that he probably inspired a lot of people out there, and uh, I, I'm happy about that. Do you think that second round was, was a 10-8? Uh, should, it, should it have been a 10-8 in your eyes? Uh. I, I don't know the rules well enough to, to know if that's a 10 8 or not. <laughs> with that original flow, head kicks with the pros, picks up the fights or anything in the mix. Getting closer to the heart of the flame, bringing conversations with heavy hitting names, you feel the love of the game.